Good morning everyone. It is 8.30 a.m. A beautiful Sunday morning and we are heading off to the greenhouse and lab. Some stuff that we ran on Friday, some paces we need to check on. And I also need to harvest some plants in the greenhouse because we're going up to Tule Lake next Friday and those, those seeds that I'm collecting today need to be planted in Tule Lake. So we need to get them harvested, threshed, and prepped so we can plant them on Friday. So let's get to it. So here in the greenhouse are my golden plants that are ready to be harvested or as my mom likes to call them, dead. Yes, mom, they are dead. They have reached the mature state and have senesced aka turned gold and are ready to move on to the next stage of their life which is to become seedlings again the circle of life one thing to note though is that each of these plants was actually from a seed increase so i can put them all into one or two bags together like this instead of individually harvesting them which is really nice now something I realized from coming into the greenhouse is that some of my lines are ready to begin the crossing stage. So I need to cross line 2308 with line 3308. How does this work? Well it's quite simple actually. I just have to emasculize some heads of wheat which means I remove the anthers aka the male parts so the heads of wheat are then only females and only contain the stigma which is the female part. I will then take another head of wheat, which I have not emasculized, and take the pollen from it, so it's the male, and pollinate the female-only plants, and aka they are cross-pollinated, and I can get new seeds, which are half of the male and half of the female. And luckily for y'all, I'm going to walk you through the steps of an emasculation. First off, you pick your head of wheat. And a spikelet usually has three to five florets and we need to remove the middle flort, which you can see here, the middle one has been removed. From there, we'd give a haircut and cut off the top part of each spikelet. And if you look inside the spikelet, you can see that there's multiple parts to it that's still making it difficult to remove the anthers. So we clear it out and now it's a little bowl that's left with only the stigma and the anthers which we'll look at here. That white fluffy part is the stigma, the female, and the little green parts that are inside, you can kind of see there, that's the anthers, and we need to remove those. There we go, that's a nice view. There's two right there. Every floor has three anthers that needs to be removed. And here is an example of three tiny anthers. As you can see, they are quite small, but when they turn yellow, they produce quite a lot of pollen. So don't look down on these guys. Anyway, now that we, we did one side, it's time to repeat it on the other side and then to bag it so that there's no cross-pollination, except for what I want it to be cross-pollinated with. Okay, we are now moving on to the drying room in the ag headquarters because the seeds that I harvested are still slightly moist. And before I plant them in Tule Lake, I wanna make sure that they're completely dry. And so these are huge drying ovens where we store seed. Usually it just takes a couple days. So yeah, I'll pick up my seeds on Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here today. It's been a very productive morning. It is now 11.30 and I made it to the greenhouse. Wow, it's windy. I made it to put the seeds in the dryer and I even made it to lab to check on those paces that I was talking about. So it's been really good. And I don't want to keep the video too long since I showed you how to do emasculations, right? So anyway. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and see you all tomorrow.